السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله In the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate All thanks and praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the whole universe. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our program, The Message of the Quran. Tonight, insha'Allah, our theme is rain, the mercy of God Almighty. For this topic, I picked the verses from Surah Al-Fatir, uh, chapter number 35, and the verses from 27 all the way to 30. Before we reflect upon the verses, I would like to recite them for you. Let me put the verses on the screen and we'll start, insha'Allah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر أن الله أنزل من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به ثمرات فأخرجنا به ثمرات مختلفا ألوانها وَمِنَ الْجِبَالِ جُدَدٌ بِيضٌ وَحُمْرٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهَا وَغَرَابِيبُ سُودٌ وَمِنَ النَّاسِ وَالدَّوَابِ بِوَالْأَنْعَامِ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ كَذَلِكَ إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلى يرجون تجارة تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه 
غفور شكور صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين peace be upon all of you dear brothers and sisters as i mentioned Tonight, I wanted to talk to you about rain. It's been raining almost for about 24 hours, beautifully, alhamdulillah. After such a long, long time, I don't remember when was the last time it rained, but alhamdulillah, finally, we have received some. So I thought it would be good to reflect upon the verses related to the occasion. So from Surah to Fatir, chapter 35, the verse 27. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Alam tara anna Allah anzala min as-sama'i ma'an fa'akhrajna bihi thamaratim muhtalifan alwanuha. It is a question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is grabbing our attention by saying, see you not that Allah sent down water from the sky and we produced therewith fruits of various colors. And then he said, And among the mountains, streak of white and red, of varying colors, and others dark black. So this is the 27. And then on 28, I will share this one. And then we'll get into deeper understanding, inshallah. He said, in the continuation, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ وَالْدَوَابِ وَالْأَنْعَامِ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ كَذَلِكِ In the same way, and likewise, men and moving creature and cattle are of various colors. Now, at this point, the style or the subject shifted and changed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ Of all his servants, only such as are endowed with innate knowledge, stand truly in awe of God Almighty. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ غَفُورٌ For they all alone comprehend that, verily, God is Almighty, much forgiving. Now, in this two verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of his complete and perfect power of creation. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how he makes different kinds of things from one thing, which is water, the source of life. As he said in Surah Al-Anbiya, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ And we made from water every living thing. So which he sends down from the heavens as mercy. So dear brothers and sisters, as believers, we need to reflect on this great blessings of Allah, blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which he sends from the sky for us. Rain is a great miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A miracle that is often taken for granted. Rain is one of the most important factors for performance of life on earth. And it plays an essential role for the continuation of the life. You know, NASA is still looking and searching for if there is life on other planets. And the first thing that they look for is water, the source of life. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites us to look around us and above us, sometimes 
to us ourselves and to observe, observe when he sends us his mercy in the form of rain, to reflect and give thanks to him. And in, in another verse in Surah An-Naml, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you know, that's a powerful portion in that beautiful chapter. At some point he said, وَمَنْ يُرْسِلُ الْرِيَاحَ بُشْرًا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ رَحْمَتِهِ أَإِلَاهٌ مَعَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ And who sends the winds bearing good news before his mercy. First, wind comes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully, you know, expressed that that's the بُشْرًا uh, means the good news. That means the rain is coming. And another beautiful expression that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't use directly the rain. He didn't say al ma water. But he said, Rahmah. He described the rain as mercy. And then he said, Is there another God with Allah? Ta'ala Allah amma yushrikun. Most exalted is Allah above what they associate. And this part is all about Tawheed, the unity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One after another, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions, Is there another God with Allah? So I humbly invite us to appreciate this great gift, the gift of rain, and use this blessing to turn to our sustainer, Razzaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with sincerity. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned rain, water, and then continued with saying that he brings forth fruits of various colors, yellow, red, green, white, and other colors. As we can see in the vast variety of their colors, not only the colors, but also the tastes and the scents. That shows the beauty and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, not only that, if you remember at the beginning, I said that from one source, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created so many different beautiful things. And he said, And among the mountains are streak of white, red of varying colors. There are mountains that you see the path, the different colors. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed that living in a beautiful state, in a beautiful city, we are surrounded with so many mountains. Los Angeles, the beautiful city. So, and I know some of you go for a hike. And, and that shows, again, when you are walking around and when you're looking at the pl plants and the shapes of mountains, and, and you cannot keep yourself from saying, SubhanAllah, what an amazing, beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see so many different beautiful things. And the variety, that's the point of verse, I believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly getting our attention of the variety of his creations. And by saying in the following, This variety is not only on the fruits or, or, or plants or the mountains, but also, likewise, men and moving creatures and cattle are of various colors. So the same is true of living creatures as well. Humans, animals, all creatures. And here's something, you know, again, general is followed by something specific. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created human beings in different complexions as well. And again, I'm going to say that we are blessed that we are living in a beautiful city of Los Angeles. And you can see this easily that, you know, this is one of the most diverse cities in the world that you see different complexions, different nations, as he said, So we put you into different nations and tribes. Or he said in Surah Al-Rum, and the difference of difference of your tongues and your colors, that again shows the power, Izz of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And that's the divine purpose, variety, difference. Otherwise, otherwise life would be so monotonous. monotonous. So, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said at the end, inna fi dhalika laayati lil alimeen. Now, as I said, inna ma yakhsha Allah min ibadih al ulama, said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm gonna, you know, connect this to beautiful verses. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is getting our attention to those who have knowledge. Inna fi dhalika laayati lil alimeen. So, verily, in that are indeed signs for Man of knowledge. Similarly, animals vary in their colors, even within one species. And a single animal may have, you know, uh, patches of different colors. That shows again the greatness and the power of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is a divine art, brothers and sisters. And other, all other arts are inspired by uh, the the divine art, the, the art of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So he says, Inna Allah min ulama, of all his servants, only such as are endowed with innate knowledge stand truly in awe of God. Only those who have knowledge stand truly in awe of Allah as he should be. Because the more they know about Almighty, all powerful, all knowing, and who has the most perfect attributes and is described with the most beautiful names and the more of course they are awe of him subhanahu wa ta'ala now i think allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us study and learn about the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know we are talking about two types of kitab the book the the first one is the revelation, Al-Quran Al-Kareem, or the previous books, revelations. And the second type of book is, is his, his creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us to read both of the books. Read Al-Quran Al-Kareem. And the Quran is urging you and pushing you to read more, learn more. Because the first revelation, the very first word was Iqra, read. Learn the sciences of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Learn physics, math, chemistry, all the beautiful science to learn more about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I think that's the most important part of the verse. Innama yakshallaha min ibadihil ulama. So these are some signs here and there, but look at them and do not take them for granted and pay attention. And this is, I'm, I'm really sorry, I include myself as well. The life is so quick. We are so in a rush. We don't notice all the beauties, seriously, like the beauty of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I mentioned, we take rain for granted. We just, it's raining outside. I mean, if we reflect a little bit and pay attention and spend a little time, how the rain, you know, happens, and that's, that's amazing. So that's the invitation. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that be a man of knowledge, study, learn, and appreciate. Now, after this part, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْرُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَمْ تَبُوكُ Verily, those who recite the book of Allah, again, I think, Allah alam, Humbly, this is my uh, approach that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first invited us to read the book of his kainat, his creation, the universe, things around us. And now he is saying that as you read that, now you read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his revelation. Or, or in Alladina Yatuna Kitab Allah, describe those who recite the book of Allah. And then they didn't stop there, they did and you know, they established the salah, the five daily prayers, performed the salah. And then, and spent out what we had provided for them, secretly and openly. They did it secretly because they just wanted to make sure that they are doing it 
for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely. They did it openly because they wanted to encourage other people to do the same thing. Now, they maintain their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through their five daily prayers. And then also they maintain their relationship with helping and extending helping hands to his fellow human beings, brothers and sisters, no matter what background they are coming from. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praising them. And then, yarjuna tijaratan lan tabur. So they hope for a sure trade gain that will never perish. If you are looking for one investment that you will never bankrupt, you will never, never face failure. And this is the one that you are doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hereafter. Just putting this smile on the face of your brothers and sisters through your good deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them in the following verse said, لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فضلك. Look at the beauty of the expression of the verse. He says that he may pay them their wages in full. Whatever you do here, you know, the famous verse we know from Surah Al-Zalzala, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى Even if it's the smallest weight of atom, so you will still see the result. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ That he may pay them their wages in full. Not only that, but also, وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِ Look at the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, and give them even more out of his grace, min fadli. And then he described himself as, innahu ghafurun shakur. That verily he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is oft forgiving, most ready to appreciate shakur. You know, we are talking about thankfulness, shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah described himself as Shakur. He is most ready to appreciate. Appreciate of what? Whatever deed that you put forth for yourselves, for your brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need. He's Ghaniyun Hamid. So he, he appreciates for that. He is most appreciative or most ready to appreciate. Now, dear brothers and sisters, speaking of the rain, there's a beautiful hadith that I would like to share with you and, and my reflection on that note, insha'Allah. As you know, there are many times and places where dua, the prayer, is answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of them is when rain falls. Now, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, two will not be rejected. Dua when the event is being called and at the time of the rain. Again, two will not be rejected. Dua when the event is being called and the second one is at the time of rain. Now it is time for Aisha and I will call the event and I believe still it's still raining outside. So you fulfill those two conditions, please pray for yourselves and for each other, inshallah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower us with his infinite mercy, inshallah. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we are going to uh, pray Salatul Isha. Let me call the event. And after the prayer, I will get back to my screen to respond to your questions if you have any. And then I will share my uh, announcements, inshallah.
وَيَجْعَلُكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ الْأَرْضِ فَإِلَاهُمْ مَعَ اللَّهِ قَلِيلًا مَا تَذَكَّرُونَ الله أكبر
الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لله من الصلوات والسلام والسلام على لا إله إلا الله اللهم صل على السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله العظيم الذي لا إله إلا هو اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام تبارك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Allah Akbar, 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 Allah يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم لك الحمد كله اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان وجعلنا من الراشدين O oh Allah, yours is the praise O oh Allah, make faith dear to us and beautify it in our hearts and make this belief, sin and disobedience dislike to us and make us among the rightly guided. Allahumma ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qulubana ala deenika wa ta'atik. O Allah, the controller of the hearts, turn our hearts to your religion and your obedience. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-huda wa tuqa wa al-afaf wa al-ghina. O Allah, we ask you for your guidance, taqwa, virtue and sufficiency. اللهم إنا نسألك النعيم المقيم الذي لا يحول ولا يزول و الله we ask you for the eternal delight that never ends or fades away اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه و أرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه و الله show us the truth as true and inspire us to follow it and show us falsehood as falsehood and inspire us to abstain from it اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا 
Oh Allah, please give quick healings for those who are sick. Oh Allah, please bless the souls of those who passed away. Mercy upon their souls. Allahumma fil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat innaka sami'un qaribun mujibu al-ta'awat wa sallillahum ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim bismillahi r-rahmani r-rahim amana al-rasoolu bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi wal mu'minun Kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi La nufarriqu bayna ahadin min rusulihi Wa qalu sami'na wa ata'na ghufranaka rabbana wa ilayka al-masir La yukallifu allahu nafsan illa us'aha لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم Surat al-lazina an'amta alayhim wa ghairi al-mawdubi alayhim wa al-dhalim. Ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our prayers, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for joining us. Please give me a few minutes. Let me read your comments and your questions. Other than, again, salams and jazakumullahu khayr. Wa alaykum as-salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and your family members. Jazakumullahu khayr. And one of our sisters is... Uh, asking, saying, Salam Shaykh, please make a dua for Brother Imtiaz who passed away today. As Sister Sayyida asked me to ask you. Okay, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his soul. Allah yarham. Allahumma fir lahu warham wa aafihi wa afu'an wa akhrim nuzula wa wasi'a mudukhala. Allahumma dakhilhu al-jannah, insha'Allah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his soul and forgive his mistakes and shortcomings and accept him in the highest level of paradise, insha'Allah. So the chapters, chapter numbers reflects the date numbers of December when the rain started and the end of this current pandemic year. Wow, I did, what, what, Alhamdulillah, you brothers and sisters are noticing all the details, masha'Allah. So the sister is saying that the chapters numbers reflects the date numbers of december when the rain started and the end of this current pand pandemic here alhamdulillah the rain is our cleansing to the air we breathe yes definitely alhamdulillah at this time we need it for our health alhamdulillah alhamdulillah uh, so many times a million times and countless times to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so one brother, or, or yes, brothers, one of our brothers is saying that no sound. Well, uh, again, I just would like to inform you, dear brothers and sisters, if there's a problem, uh, I would hear more than one person. Mostly it's, I'm really sorry to say this, mostly it's at your end. So please check your either laptop or iPad or cell phone, whatever you are using. If, I, if we had any issue with the sound, I would hear from more than one uh, listeners 
at this point, I only hear from you. So please check your um, tool that you are using for uh, the connection. So, all right. So when it is raining, isn't this also one of the best times to make dua? That's what I mentioned. I think maybe you sent this uh, message before I mentioned. Okay, another one is asking for Sister Tanvir and her husband. Yeah, we prayed on Friday and I'm going to pray again, inshallah. They're not feeling well. Sister Tanvir, most of you know uh, Tanvir uh, Hadi and, and, and her husband, uh, Brother Khalid, is not feeling well. Please keep them in your prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, grant them shifa, inshallah. You know, Allahumma dhabi al-ba'as rabban nas ishfi anta shafi, ishfi anta shafi la shifa illa shifa And our sister is saying that thank you, Sheikh Asim. So nice to listen to you. Allahu Akbar. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see your name on the screen. Thank you always. Jazakumullah khair uh, for joining us. So as we tend to take water for granted, yeah, I'm going to sip on my... So this is, you know, blessing for so many things, alhamdulillah. As we tend to take water for granted, it really one of the greatest blessings from God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for everything, says one of our sisters, Sister Stacy. I always learn so many things and increase my iman. Alhamdulillah. That's, that's the intention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to increase our faith, our, our iman. Seriously, I was uh, praying, I don't know, of course, during the prayer time, you have to focus on your prayer, but sometimes things come to your mind. You know, you hear, and I'm watching sometimes unintentionally, you know, you just open YouTube and you see something related to God. And they said, people are talking about the notion of, you know, uh, God not being exist. So, uh, I mean, there are so many, there are so many signs, but just even like seriously, well, I don't know how you feel, but I don't find any taste with anything else that I find in, you know, anything related to faith, the religion, like when you are praying, when you are reciting, when you are reflecting upon the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that by itself is an evidence that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. And that's the only satisfaction is through you know, to his remembrance and, and the verse, whenever I read, that gives me, you know, seriously like goosebump, you know, um, the heart only finds satisfaction through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I wholeheartedly believe in this. I find myself, myself most spiritual, most satisfied, most happy during the prayer or anything related to prayer. So alhamdulillah, these are, beautiful um you know occasions um uh, or platform to increase our faith and also increase our brotherhood and sisterhood thank you sister stacy so uh and sister Brittany says thank you shape as my often reflect on allah subhanahu ta'ala's beautiful creation when i am uh, on a plane looking out of the window yeah yeah you are reading my mind absolutely like that's one of the most beautiful sight you know when you're looking down and you know, and then up in sky, that shows the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, the verses when you read and, and when you experience, that means a lot. So and uh, and one of our listeners saying you are so true, I totally agree. I do agree with you as well. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and protect you, please, please take care of yourself and wear your mask and make sure that you are uh, putting social distance between you and others and, and, you know, and wash your hands. You know, we should remind each other and this is not a joke and it's really serious. And, and then in the meantime, of course, keep your faith uh, up uh, and, and, and be hopeful and, and then also, um, Keep praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and protect all of us. So take care of yourself, inshallah, and, and rest well. I just would like to remind you before I end that this Thursday, uh, due to holiday uh, week and weekend, we're not going to have spiritual fireside chat, neither um, 
Sunday program, but we will have Salat al Jum'ah, of course. There's no, you know, uh, off day for Salat al Jum'ah. And our khatib is going to be Omar Ricci. So on Friday at 12.50, with Quranic recitation will start and the khutbah will be at 1 p.m. until Jum'ah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take care of yourselves, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.